what's up guys welcome to this channel so in this video let's model this boss just chapel in revit okay so before we go straight to the tutorial i would like to ask everyone please watch every part of this video and if you like it please consider to like share or subscribe okay so the first thing i will do is to open a new i set this project as the default metric or millimeter template so here I am in Revit. So what I'm going to do is to command RP or reference plane and I just simply draw a one reference plane here, then one in the middle and one in the other side. Okay. And then I just simply select it this one reference line. And if you want to uh lock it, you can select this reference line but before that i just want to command rp for the shortcut again and then these two reference line is i want to pin it or lock it okay so that so you cannot move it this okay so now what i'm going to do next is to select this and i just simply set this into 7500 or 7.5 meter including this one okay so once you finish to set this okay i just simply dimension it so everyone can uh, follow this dimension okay you can adjust it the dimension if you want okay so this is seven thousand five hundred fifteen meters is the total length of this uh, end, end to end of this building okay or the chapel so now what i'm going to do next is go into south elevation to set also this level so i just simply select this or i just simply move it little bit into my right side Th then create similar and i just want to add one level here okay and i just simply set this into i think 2.5 meter is enough for that one okay 2.5 meters okay So what I'm going to do next is to command reference plane and from in this reference plane in the middle to this uh, into my left uh, side okay I just want to hold the control shift copy okay. I just want to divide it this into two okay so I I set this into Five six twenty five. Okay, so five six twenty five, and then I just simply select this mm for the shortcut, so that is the middle. Okay, so this reference line, I need it to move it this one okay md for the shortcut to move it up to the middle so don't worry for that overlap then i just simply select this hold the control shift and i set this dimension into one seven then select mm for the shortcut to zero it again in the other side and i just simply select this hold the control shift again then i just simply set the dimension here into 1095 including in the top one hold the control shift 1095 mm so if i dimension it di for the shortcut i just want to dimension it all so this is what we get 6500 is the total height okay 
So now what I'm going to do next is to select this, hold the control shift to copy it again, then two one sixty three. Okay. I am doing this uh, including the dimension because I want to follow the I want the uh, beginner follows what I'm doing it in this uh, setup. So this is the dimension and the total is one one two five this the middle. So that the from the left corner to the middle is one two 50. So I just simply mm for the shortcut. I just simply select it all this one mm for the shortcut to mirror it in the other side. Okay. So it I command di I get the total one of two twenty two thousand five hundred or twenty two point five meter. Okay. So now let's start to create the shape of the chapel. Okay, so this is the very important one. Okay, so I just simply dimension it first this to make it more clear because I need also that one. Okay, so that is the six thousand five hundred two. Four meter is the standard height for this project. Okay, so remember, I just simply mirror it. This, so this is the very important in this part. Okay, so let's start to place a point here to get the shape of the chapel. Okay, so I just simply go back first into the level one and let's confirm. Or let's name it this into one, two, and this is three. Okay, so I hope that everyone can follow that one. Okay, so I just go back into the south elevation and go now into the massing inside. Okay, in place mass mass one. Okay, you can name it as you want. So I just simply start placing a point element here. So I just simply go into the reference plane one. Okay. So we finish. Then use this draw on work plane. Okay. Simply place one point here, one point in this part, then one point here. Okay, so it's very easy. Okay, I'm not setting one reference or plane here, okay, because I want this is uh, um, movable. Okay, I just simply go directly here in this part. Okay, mm for the shortcut. Okay, I just simply mirror it in the other side, that one. Then all of this is mm. Okay, so that is the one step. Okay, so that is the shape already. So if I select it, all this. Then go into spline through points, we got already the shape. Okay, then go here into the properties, then change it into reference line. So that is the shape already. You can play it also this if you want. Okay, but I want to fix it like this okay so what i'm going to do next is to
select all of this three. Okay. Then mm for the shortcut. Okay. To mirror it in the other side. And then go directly command MB to your keyboard. Then select this and drag it this or move it this into the level 3. Okay. So that is the shape already. Then go automatically into the side. Then MB, okay, and then snap it into the reference plane 2, okay. Then go into the south, so that is already fixed. Then go now into the point element, then go to set, then go into reference plane 2, okay, then you can snap it. Uh, one here and one here, then one also here, then one here. Then once you once you finish to place the other point element, you can go into 3D. Okay, use the shift and I just simply select this by holding the control shift, then is flying through points then go into properties then I just simply change this into reference line so now what I'm going to do next is go into the south again and add one point element in this part to control it this so how can I do that you just simply go into the point element okay then use the draw on face Okay, and select this and make point uh, driving here. Okay, so once if you select this, you can play it like this. Okay, so once you finish this and you're happy for that one, you can go into 3D. Then select this, go to the side. Just simply copy to move it this into the other side okay so now what i'm going to do next is to select all of this reference line then create a form okay you know so if i change it into fine and realistic this is what we get here then i go into finish Okay, so this is the shape already. So what I'm going to do next, okay, is to go into the massing inside. Then I now I just want to get this roof face, roof by face. Okay, go to create, edit type, duplicate. Okay, roof. I think this is only 200 200 is enough for that one then go here i just in the fit faces i just simply change this into this at the bottom of the roof or, or the top okay i want in the top that one so leave it as the default top okay but if i hit the tab you can select it that roof and you can change it into face bottom of the top okay so that is the proper uh, place of that roof so if we will see we got the shape already so if i select this and go to edit type then go to edit you can change it the material here it white here I just want to choose this gypsum board because I want that uh, white one. So the thickness here is 200. Okay, apply and hit okay. 
So now we got the shape already of the boss just chapel okay so i hope that everyone can follow the easy step what i did into this uh, boss just chapel rope so this is the part one i hope that everyone can uh, also watch the part two of this tutorial because i want to model it including the uh, side plan of this chapel and the steps okay as per the layout okay so i hope that everyone can uh, follow the easy step what i did to this uh, project so, so thank you for watching see you in the part two of this tutorial